So let's look at some commands that we can run. Now we did mention that this is our primary domain controller and I've got another domain controller. Okay, this is DCO1 and my second domain controller is DCO2. Now let's say for whatever reason, I've got users in another site, in another state, they generally would authenticate against DCO2, but they're having issues, they're having lag issues or something is not working correctly what we do is we can go into our command prompt into PowerShell, essentially their Active Directory PowerShell commands to troubleshoot replication between our domain controllers. We want to make sure that our domain controllers remain in sync. Now, by default, the domains will be in sync uh, over a certain amount of time. When you enter in a user, for example, you create a brand new user account on your domain controller in Active Directory here, theoretically, Every other Active Directory instance across every other domain controller will also get that user added once those domain controllers replicate and sync with each other. Sometimes that doesn't always work, hence why we need to look at some of the troubleshooting commands. Now, what we can do right in here is we can go into our Start menu and there's a few things that we can look at. So we're gonna go into Admin Tools and you've got Active Directory right here, right? This is essentially what we've got. Active Directory module for Windows PowerShell is what we're gonna be opening. Actually, what we're gonna do, we're not gonna do what I just did, we're gonna actually open it up as an administrator. So I'm going to right click on it, and I'm going to say run as administrator. It's always good practice to run as administrator uh, any form of command prompts that you may be running, okay? Because that way you'll have full permissions into everything. Now, two common commands that I like to use for diagnostics. Uh, one, if you want to look at the replication between domain controllers, is uh, the first one is rep admin, R-E-P-A-D-M-I-N. And then there's a number of parameters that you can add at the end of rep admin to actually go and troubleshoot and find certain things and actually diagnose some issues there. And the second command, this is more for diagnostics around your DC and the command is DC Diag, DC D-I-A-G, followed by a whole bunch of commands and that gives you some diagnostic information around your domain. So the two commands that we are going to look at over these next couple of videos, but the first one being rep admin and the second one be DC Diag. So for example, I can do a rep admin right here, press enter, and you'll see that there's a whole bunch of commands that you can put against rep admin endless possibilities right here. So rep admin is used to essentially to see if replication is use, is working correctly and diagnosing everything around that. So you've got commands that you can put all against here with a bit of an overview of what is going on, okay? Here's a good one that we'll look at in the next video is displaying the replication status when specifying domain controller last attempted an inbound replication active directory partition. You've got a whole bunch of others. You've got a sync command, which we'll look at as well and some other commands there as well, okay? So that is our rep admin, perfect command that you can use consistently to troubleshoot and diagnose replication between your domain controllers, okay? The next command right here that we are going to run is the DC diag command, okay? Very similar, if I press on enter, here's a few things that's going on, all right? So this is now uh, diagnosing and troubleshooting a bit of my Active Directory, okay? It's gonna check a number of things, Okay, it's checking my primary DC, it passed connectivity, great. Uh, you see a whole bunch of other information. It's looking at replication from my DC serve 02, okay? And here's a few things, right? Here's a summary of what's going on. We're gonna go into a little bit more detail in this in the next video, but you can see a few things that have happened here. You've got some failures, you've got some other things that maybe didn't work as well as you were hoping, um, but this gives you a real good snapshot on the health of your domain controller, DCO serve one failed testing this, right? And you can sort of see what is going on. Some things have passed, some things have failed. You can see information around my, my local uh, domain as well, okay? So there are two commands that we're gonna be touching on over these next few videos, DC Dialog and Rep Admin, and uh, let's look at some of those.